I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to prepare for your first fertility visit. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist helping people build families and have their first fertility visit for over 15 years. And today I'm going to give you some information and tips on how to maximize that first visit so it's best for you. Today we're going to go over five things. Number one, the visit basics, understanding what to expect. Number two, what to do before your visit so you're prepared. Number three, what to bring with you to your visit. Number four, what questions to ask while you're there. And number five, how to reflect after the visit and know how to move forward. So number one, the visit basics. Most first fertility visits are talking. It's a lot of talking, going over your history, going over your goals, kind of understanding you and your partner. There's so much to talk about. There's a lot of education. There's a lot of um, questions and answers, and it's a lot of talking. At my practice, Pacific Northwest Fertility in Seattle, the first visit is usually 45 minutes, sometimes even 60 minutes long. And that is so luxurious and wonderful in today's medicine. We have so much time to go through things, but it's amazing how fast it goes. A lot of visits these days are being done by telemedicine. Um, when I used to see people in person, we would often do an ultrasound and maybe even some basic tests at that first visit. But now that it's moved mostly to telemedicine, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of talking and it's great. Number two, before you go, Think about your goals. It might be easy to kind of show up to a visit and sort of be a little bit passive and sort of expect the doctor to really drive the conversation. Um, and a lot of times that does happen. And if that's right for you, that is fantastic. But take some time to really think about your visit, do some reading online, ask friends about their fertility journeys and treatments if, if you feel comfortable, but knowing your goals and what you want to get out of that first visit and kind of your relationship with the fertility doctor and the practice is going to help make that first visit optimal for you. You really need to partner on this fertility journey and you need to advocate for yourself. And part of that is being very mindful and thoughtful about each visit and setting your goals for that visit. Number three, what do you wanna bring with you? Bring a list with you, or if it's telemedicine, have a list in front of you of things that you know the doctor is gonna ask and you don't wanna spend time kind of trying to remember or hemming and hawing. And so things are, you know, questions that you're going to get asked list of medications. So any prescription medications that you have, take a list with you of what the medication is, what the dose is and how often you've taken it. Um, just because sometimes when you aren't prepared, it can take a minute to think and just, you don't want to waste any time. Take a list of any allergies you have to any medication. Take a list of supplements that you're taking. Make sure and write down before you go any medical things that the, you think the doctor should know about, you know, asthma, heart conditions. Um, think about family history that might be important, any family history of fertility issues, miscarriages or um, genetic diseases that run in the family or health issues in family members. These things are important. Don't forget about your partner. If you are conceiving, you're trying to conceive with a partner, make sure if at all possible that both people can be at that first visit and as many visits as possible because you guys are in this together. And if that person can't be there, then get write down their medications and allergies and medical history just so that you kind of don't miss anything, but also you're getting that information to the doctor um, in a timely manner. So you can spend the bulk of the consult on your questions about fertility, because that's really why you're there. And a question that most, if not all fertility doctors and gynecologists are gonna ask are, tell me about your menstrual cycles and when was the first day of your last menstrual period? So just have that available um, so that it's just easy to give that information. Number four, what questions to ask? So you're gonna spend a lot of the visit um, answering the doctor's questions about your history um, and your goals, but you really should have an opportunity to ask your own questions. And so you really want to get information. If the doctor doesn't bring it up, you should ask about these things. Tests, you know, what tests does the doctor recommend and why? And are these the same tests that they run for everyone? Or are there certain tests because of your history that um, are important to your personal situation? Um, ask about treatment options, you know, um, 
what treatment options are available? You know, do I have I as a patient you have a choice in the treatment options or which ones um, are we thinking might be pertinent for me most likely at that first visit it's going to be talking in generalizations um, and then after you do fertility testing there should be a follow-up visit where you're interpreting those results and really talking about a path moving forward in your care and your treatment um, options, but kind of getting to know a little bit about what treatments are available and what the doctor is sort of thinking about for your personal situation. It's great to get a little bit of an overview at the beginning. Most likely the doctor is going to recommend tests to be done. So a good question is to ask, how am I going to get these test results? You know, uh, every clinic runs a little bit differently. Some patients have a portal where they can log on and get their own test results. Um, some patients will receive a phone call from a nurse and that person will go over the test results. Um, and then some clinics might just automatically always schedule a return visit where that's gonna be going over the test results with the doctor. So there's multiple different ways to get the test results and it's really nice for it to be very clear before you leave how you're gonna get those test results. Another really important question to ask is, how can I ask more questions? So <laughs> whether it's questions about testing or whether it's questions about something that you forgot to bring up at that first visit, ask the doctor, you know, how do I get my questions answered? Is a nurse assigned to me? Do I have an email that I kind of shoot emails to during the day and get replies? Is it always a phone call? Just know that you are probably gonna have more questions after that first visit. So you wanna know how you can get them answered. Another question is to ask, hey, is there anything I can do to optimize my fertility? You know, does the doctor recommend anything like nutrition or certain supplements or certain fitness? It's just nice to know if there's anything that the doctor typically recommends to patients or with your personal situation, if there's anything different. So just to recap, the questions to ask are, you know, what tests do you recommend for me? What treatment options are available? Do you have a feeling on which one might be best for me at this point? Ask about any ways to optimize your fertility, if that's why you're seeing the doctor, and then ask how you can get future questions answered. And a part of asking about getting future questions answered is really understanding what the next steps are. It's really disconcerting when you finish a consult with a doctor and you kind of think to yourself, well, I'm not really sure what's next. So make sure that before you wrap up and finish the consult that you know what the next steps are. Probably it's going to be doing testing and a return visit. Um, but you just want to be really, really clear on exactly what the next steps are. Are you supposed to initiate calling the clinic to initiate the next steps? Is a nurse going to call you to educate you a little bit more about the clinic and how it works? Just really clear communication is wonderful as a way to decrease confusion and get your questions answered. And finally, number five, a really important part of your first fertility visit is reflecting afterwards. Um, when you finish that visit, take a pause, take a big deep breath and write down everything that you can remember, you know, write down um, any notes and, you know, take notes while you're having the visit or maybe listening is kind of better, but also reflect on how you feel at the end of that visit, really sit for a moment and just think through what happened. At the end, do you feel listened to? Did your doctor treat you with respect and seem to hear you when you were asking questions? That feeling is really important to pay attention to because you do have choices in doctors and clinics and a fertility journey is very personal. Uh, it's a very vulnerable place to be and you want to feel respected and heard and feel like you have a partner on your journey. So I hope that this video was helpful for you and I hope you feel more prepared for your first fertility visit. Let's recap. We talked about the fertility visit basics and what to expect. Uh, number two, we talked about what to do beforehand in order to be prepared and ready for that visit, setting your goals and intention for the visit. Number three, we talked about 
what to bring with you, you know, lists of allergies, lists of medications, remembering the first day of your last menstrual period, if you have one. And number four, we talked about some really basic good questions to think through. And number five, we talked about the importance of reflecting on that visit and ways to be ready to move forward. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like this video, comment with topics you want me to cover and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell if you want notifications for when my next video is ready and stick around for more learning.